As you may know, April is Donate Life Month, and our next guest is here with a very personal story about her daughter who received a double lung transplant here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I was able to interview that remarkable young woman, Mallory Smith, while she was here in Pittsburgh after months on the transplant list. Now, unfortunately, she lived only two months after the operation. Mallory wrote about her journey as a cystic fibrosis patient and her quest to, quote, live happy. And now her mother has finished Mallory's memoir and the book, Salt in My Soul, An Unfinished Life, is getting great reviews coast to coast and could become a movie. Well, we want to welcome Mallory's mother. She is on a nationwide book tour that's brought her back to Pittsburgh. We are happy to have her here with us. Welcome Diane Shader-Smith. And thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I have to imagine that finishing her memoir was... Um maybe comforting in some respects, but that had to have been very hard to do. I didn't actually finish it. She left 2,500 pages, and what I did was edit it down to okay. 300 because nobody would want to read that many pages. And it was both bittersweet mm -hmm. because it's just tragic that she's not here to see what she's done, but also unbelievably rewarding because she was an amazing writer, which is why the reviews are so good. I remember when I had the opportunity to interview her and she talked about how she wanted to study journalism. She talked about the message that she wanted to tell people. This, this is really something that you're taking on to carry out her dream, right? Yes. It's funny because she lived a simple life. She really didn't try to be in the spotlight or do anything tremendously profound. She wanted to work to save the environment. She wanted to write about issues social justice, health care, access to health care, things like that, that she really cared about. But she didn't think that she had something so powerful. And the reason I say that is because right after her transplant, when we thought she was going to make it, because initially it looked really promising, I said, do you want me to try to find you an agent so you can tell your story, which everybody had been asking her to do because of her great writing. And she said, well, yes, I'd love to, <clears throat> but I don't actually know if I am a good enough writer to tell my story. Well. Random House didn't do any editing. This is what she wrote. Wow. Just cut into a, an arc that people will be able to follow as a story. So tell us about the story that she tells in Salt in My Wound. She talks about. Salt in my, uh, in my Soul, salt excuse my me. Salt. It's okay. She talks about her own journey, her struggles, but she addresses issues that so many people relate to. For example, access to health care, some of the insurance obstacles what it's like to have an invisible illness, what happens when your invisible illness turns visible. She writes about body image issues, which if you look at her body, who would think she would have them, but she did. Fear, depression, and anxiety that crept up as she got sicker. Lots of issues that so many people will relate to that haven't already read it. I remember one of the things she talked about was the lesson of, of how grateful we all should be for every moment of life. Mm -hmm. and, and that's part of her message as well, right? Yes, and what's interesting is that right now everybody's so into mindfulness and meditation. Mm -hmm. And what's that about? Taking a deep breath. The way Mallory describes end-stage lung disease is as if you were plugging your nose, putting a straw in your mouth, and climbing three flights of stairs and trying to breathe that way. So I'm very conscious every day when I breathe, when I do meditation tapes to be grateful for what I have and try to honor her life and how hard she struggled just to take a breath every day. Uh, so we mentioned this possibly becoming a movie. Um, and I, I know that Five Feet Apart, also the, the movie, and the, which was auth authored by a Pittsburgh author, she went to Pitt, um, has gotten a lot of attention and kind of raised awareness about cystic fibrosis, something that maybe a lot of people were unaware about. Yeah, it's really crazy timing that this all happened at the same time. I, it was not planned. But I think what's happened is that as more and more people with cystic fibrosis have become active on social media and with, in Mallory's case, blogging and writing. Some people do photography. And I think there's a growing desire on the part of people who really struggle with these disease to share what it's like. Mallory chose to live happy and she didn't want to burden anybody, but her struggle was real and very tough. And she chose to document it in writing. And that's what I have chosen to share because I think that's what people need to understand, especially invisible illness, because people have diabetes or they have hearing loss or they have mental problems. So many conditions and illnesses are classified as invisible illness. And she writes really in such a way 
that it explains what it's like so that people will understand it. But along the way, she has wit, she has wisdom. She's, she's remarkable. And, and some of what she deals with is also navigating the healthcare process, right? And getting the kind of mm -hmm. care that you need. You really need to work to be an advocate for yourself, right? Yeah, we had a huge insurance battle, and she documented it at the time in excruciating detail and wanted to publish it then because she was so upset about what had happened. But I said, no, 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 we need the insurance company to get through this. And I said, just write it up while it's fresh in your mind and put it aside. And I chose to put that piece in the book, and it's very, very detailed about what happened. And I hope that it helps other people who are struggling understand what you need to do in order to advocate for yourself. Well, you are continuing her mission and have been touring the country with her book. So thank you very much for taking some time to join us this morning. Thank you. I'm sure she's very proud of what you're doing. I feel it right here. Yeah. There you go. Well, you can learn more about Mallory's journey in the book, Salt in My Soul, An Unfinished Life, and come hear her mother, Diane, speak at several local events. You can find a full schedule of where to find her at PittsburghTodayLive.com.